as you're getting to know your Mac, you'll find that everything is in Finder. So all your documents, everything that you guys want to find is in Finder. Finder's down here on the bottom left-hand side. We'll see Finder. As I mentioned, if you don't see it, you can always type it up in the Spotlight search. However, most of you will see it down here already. So we can tap on it. And once you open it up, you might see a screen like so. On the side, you're going to see various options. So AirDrop, that works. Like I mentioned before, if you have an iPhone, iPad, or Touch, or maybe another Mac, you guys can airdrop stuff between one another. That's just to transfer files, pictures, anything you guys want, really. Recents will take a look at your recent files. Applications, that's where all your programs are going to be at. Desktop is just our desktop and documents and downloads. So documents, that's usually where you guys want to organize all your documents. You just drag and drop any files into there. Downloads, that's everything you guys download from the internet. So what I'm going to show you guys right now is applications. So let's click on applications. So right here on applications, these are the apps that are installed on my Mac. So these are all the programs that I've installed at the moment. That's not the only way you guys can find your applications, by the way. We can also find your applications. Let me close this up to close any of these windows up. It's by pressing the X up here. If you guys want to minimize, you guys can press this. So that's an option as well. So we're just going to go ahead and close this. We can also press Command Q, by the way, to quit anything. So if you want to close that or really close an app or a program on your Mac, press Command Q. That's essential. Really good to know. But anyways, I wanted to show you another way you guys can access your programs. Obviously, there's quick ways of doing it, but down here below, you guys will also see Launchpad. So let's just tap on the Launchpad, and here they are. That's another way to access all your programs and take a look at them. We can also search for them. So if it's a specific program, maybe you have a lot, just click up here and search for that program. To get out from this, just click away. Just click anywhere that's not a program, and you're going to get back here. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.